So I just wanted to make a quick uh, video real quick. I am working on kind of like an overview of the whole build with pens and problems I ran into and all that. It's just going to take a while to get all that together. Um, but in the meantime, I did want to transfer the learning, the fuel learning values to the base fuel, which you do not have to do. Uh, the base fuel map is kind of is what it is and then the learn table is the percentage it's adding at that cell over the base fuel so it, it will it's auto, always doing it they work together um, but I'm going to transfer what it's learned to the base and then turn down the closed loop learn um, in this area I turned it way up because I was having so many problems at idle, I was running so lean. Um, I'm going to turn that back down to 50%, which is still pretty high, but I've only run it a little bit. Um, once you get this close to where you want it, you can turn it down to 20, or I've heard even less than that people do. Um, but I'm going to back that back down to 50. Um, nothing was over 50. The highest one was this, I think, 46.2. Um, over that cell, so it was 69 kPa at 2,000 RPM. 2,000 RPM, 69 kPa. So it was adding 46.1 to that. Um, so I'm going to transfer it and then uh, smooth it and then let it kind of keep learning. Um, but yeah, just like I said, I wanted to make a quick one to uh, say that I'm making a longer one that I've talked about since I've driven the car a bunch now and everything's working as intended, gauge-wise. Um, it's running real good. So I feel confident in saying what wire, you know, the pins that I used and cut out. Um, so that's coming soon. Um, don't know when, but I'm working on it um, as we speak. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and transfer this. Usually when you transfer it, it's going to ask if you want to smooth it. Um, I say, yeah. Uh, and then the base fuel, these little dots are where it has adjusted the fuel. Um, so where we were at before, 2069, and it was 50-something. Um, now it's showing 72. Um, and it's kind of all wavy like that. You know, you can smooth it all. And then let it keep learning. Um, and again, I'm definitely not a tuner. Um, I've learned a little bit of this by watching other people and then playing with playing with uh, Holly snipers, which are kind of similar. Um, but I'm kind of learning as I go and hoping to get actually good at it. So anyway, that's just a quick update. Um, hope to have the big video, the overview um, for the Terminator and the SN95 done. Uh, sooner than later. Uh, I didn't want to gloss over this. This 50 means it can learn plus or minus 50% over this in the corresponding area. Um, again, I'm not a tuner, uh, but that's what I, how I understand it. So I upped this area to 100 because it was running very, very lean, and I wanted to give it all the <laughs> all the learning it could take. Um, but that's what these numbers mean, and the longer it learns, you can turn this down, or if you get a professional tune done, I've heard they turn it off, or you can turn the learning off if you're happy with it, but I didn't, I didn't want to gloss over that. That's what these numbers mean, so I had mine at 100 for a little while in this area, and now I'm turning it down. As it learns more, I'll turn it down, that sort of thing, so I just didn't want to gloss over that, what, what these numbers meant.